Welcome to this introduction to Statistics Canada. The learning objectives for this video are that you will be able to describe the role Statistics Canada plays in our society, recall the main menu features of the website, and remember that Statistics Canada collects a lot more data than it publishes. Statistics Canada is a government agency tasked with collecting data from across Canada. They analyze and publish this data as statistics and as written reports and infographics. If you start your research at Google, then start by typing in Statistics Canada. Then, follow the link to the Statistics Canada website. Start by noticing the main menu at the top of the screen. Let's start by clicking on the About StatCan link in the menu. StatCan is the common short form for Statistics Canada. Next, click on the About Us link. To quote the website, Statistics Canada produces statistics that help Canadians better understand their country, its population, resources, economy, society, and culture. Objective statistical information is vital to an open and democratic society. It provides a solid foundation for informed decisions by elected representatives, businesses, unions and nonprofit organizations, as well as individual Canadians, and of course students. Statistics Canada is committed to protecting the confidentiality of all information entrusted to them and to ensuring that the information they deliver is timely and relevant to Canadians. So not only do they have a responsibility to collect data and publish statistics, they also have a duty to maintain the privacy of those who they collect data about. The delicate balance between openness and privacy is often the reason why information is collected by, but not published by. Statistics Canada. Now that we know a bit about StatCan, let's return to the main menu for a brief introduction to the information structure of the website. Start with the first menu item by clicking on Subjects. StatCan categorizes their information into subjects. For example, click on the Science and Technology subject. Doing this brings us to a display of key indicators and the common StatCan search interface. The search results have gathered every type of information that StatCan has published on science and technology. This category of search results can be filtered by keywords or by predetermined subjects. For example, I can filter the results by typing nanotechnology into the search box and clicking search. The results have been filtered, but using the tabs at the top of the results is also important. The default shows me all the results, but if I only want to see published statistics and data tables, I should click on the Data tab. The Analysis tab filters the results to show only written publications, like articles and reports. The Reference tab is where you can find the surveys from which the data and statistics were collected. Clicking on the title of the first search result under the Data tab takes us to the table of published information. Back at the main menu, the next option is Data. Clicking on this menu item returns us to the common search interface with a few notable differences. Now, the tabs across the top of the search interface include more specific data products, for example, tables, thematic maps, and data visualizations. And all the subjects from the subject area are available as search filters. For quickly finding statistics, the data search is the best place to start. However, Finding the data that is right for you can be tricky, so I'll revisit it in another video. For now, you are welcome to experiment by keyword searching to find data of interest. Once again at the main menu, clicking on Analysis loads a variation of the common search interface. This time, the tabs at the top of the search results give you options with respect to the written publications authored at StatCan. At the main menu, I'm going to skip the reference link a great place to return to once you are more familiar with StatCan. The next item in the main menu is Geography. This page has a special Geography search tool that allows you to search by the name of a place or postal code. For example, I can search for information using the postal code of the Humber Lakeshore Campus, M8V1K8. For this search to work, you must select an option from the search tool's suggestions. After clicking the suggested area, the tool shows the boundaries of the postal code. Other geographic units can be selected under the Related Geography heading. 
Scrolling down, the common search tool is displaying any related information that matches the geographic search. Next to Geography in the main menu is a link to the Census. Clicking the link to the Census takes us to the Census Program page. The Census is a massive project that attempts to survey every Canadian household every five years. They use this data to learn as much as possible about the people of Canada and then share it with us by publishing it to this website. By scrolling down to the Topics heading, you can get a sense of the areas studied by the Census Survey. For example, clicking on Education will take us to a page where education data collected in the Census has been published under the headings Data Products, Analytical Products, Reference Material, and Geography. The Census is much too big to cover in this video, so we will return to it another time. The last place we will look at in the main menu is under the Surveys and Statistical Programs drop-down menu. From here, I will click on the Surveys and Statistical Programs main page. Here is where I can find a survey from the over 350 that are run by StatCan, and then find related data. To do that, start by clicking on the Results and Documentation of Surveys and Statistical Programs link. On this page, the common search interface will allow you to search by keyword or by using the subjects we are now familiar with. Across the top is the alphabet for filtering the survey list in that manner. So, if I'm interested in surveys on the subject of education, I will put a check mark in the Education, Training, and Learning subject. I like the sound of the National Graduate Survey, so I will click on that. Now I can see what has been published using the data from that survey. There is also a link to documentation about the survey itself. After this tour of Statistics Canada, you should be able to describe the role Statistics Canada plays in our society, recall the main menu features of the website, and remember that Statistics Canada collects a lot more data than it publishes. That concludes this introduction to Statistics Canada.